Hi, everyone. It's Peter Reed, and I want to welcome you to the Atlantic Baptist Devotional for Monday, April 19th. I feel privileged to share with you a brief devotional and a guided time of prayer. These are not easy days. All of us are living through isolation and the anxiety of wondering when this pandemic will be over. We also wonder what will life be like post-pandemic? And it seems there's a lot of uncertainty. We're on this journey together and it is our desire to offer you hope and encouragement as you take this new and different path. We see how hard you are working and we see that you continue to care for your people despite the difficulty of doing ministry in these strange times. Let me share a brief devotional with you. After the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000, the following account is recorded in Mark's Gospel, the sixth chapter. Mark says, Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back in the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida. Then Jesus said goodbye to everyone, and he went up into the hills by himself to pray. I've always loved the rhythm of Jesus' life. He moved from intensely busy times of ministry to seclusion and solitary times alone with the Father in prayer. The disciples were somewhere in the middle of the lake, struggling against the strong winds and huge waves. In the darkest hours of the night, Jesus saw they were in serious trouble, battling the wind and the waves. Wait a minute. In all of the times I've read this story and probably preached it, I missed this incredibly important point. Think about it. Jesus went up into the hills to pray and spend the night alone with God. How did he notice the disciples? I'm not sure what happened, but I have a suspicion. Our oldest son is a lobster fisherman, and it's strange how his mother and I have become acutely aware of the wind. We tend to note the direction and the force of the winds much more than we ever did. It certainly has improved our prayer life. Jesus must have felt the rising intensity of the wind and became worried about his friends. His humanity is on full display here. I think he became like a mother hen, worried about the safety of her brood. His prayers were interrupted by his anxiety for his friends, or or were they answered by his concern for his friends? Mark recorded that Jesus came walking on the water at about three in the morning. At first, the disciples were terrified as if they'd seen a ghost. But Jesus said, Don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. Then he climbed into the boat and the wind stopped. Jesus saw his friends in the storm. He witnessed their struggle. He knew they were in trouble. And he came to them in the night to rescue them. I really love this. I love his concern for his friends. I love that he couldn't make it through the night without thinking of them. The more time I spend with Jesus, the more that I see he is my friend and that he cares for me in ways that go beyond my wildest expectations. Let me encourage you today by saying to you, you're not alone in your struggles. He's watching over you. He is concerned for you. He will come to you and calm the storm in your heart and life. I pray that you'll hear his spirit speak this word to you. You may be experiencing a storm in your personal life. It may be a storm in your family. It may be a storm at work. It may be a storm in your church. Whatever the storm, Jesus has not forgotten you. And if you're able to quiet your soul... I believe you too will hear the words, don't be afraid, take courage, I am here. Let's take a few moments for prayer. I am going to pray for the topic in the church that's on our Sunday prayer link for this coming Sunday. But first, I'd like to invite you to take one or two deep breaths and relax. Here's a centering prayer to help you invite God's presence. 
Again, will you just relax? And why not place your hands on your knees, palms up? This is just a posture of surrender to God. Be still and know that I am God. Lord, may your spirit guide me to seek your loving presence more and more. For it is there I find rest and refreshment from this busy world. God, will you give my friends calm in the midst of the storm? And will you grant those listening to my voice rest, refreshment, and peace today? This week is the next conference where children's ministry leaders are gathering online for practical training and encouragement. These leaders, both vocational and volunteer, play such an important role in the lives of our churches and neighborhoods. I pray for these leaders as they continue to serve amid the challenges of COVID-19 and other circumstances. Lord, I pray that you would renew and strengthen them to be encouraged by their local congregations. Today, I lift up Ormocto Baptist Church, Pastor Perry Hanley and Pastor Devin Palmer. May they be refreshed, renewed and encouraged by your presence, Lord. Thanks, Lord, for being with us in every storm. And now a benediction. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. You can expect this every Monday for the next several weeks. And please be sure to share this with others in your church. 